Hello everyone, Akuni here, and welcome back to Frytober. Uh, one quick note, due to, I, I don't know how many of you follow my social media, but due to personal emergency and grief, um, friend Bo will come back with the rest of Frytober, uh, just not yet. I will be finishing the game as a sorry uh, that I couldn't keep on track this month, but for those of you who don't follow my social media, we had to put one of my cats down um, this, this past week. Um, so if you haven't watched any of my streams, um, or, or basically heard me talk about my cats, they're basically my children. So, losing her was hard. But, today we're painting pumpkins. So yeah, uh, the past two years, two, three years, we've carved pumpkins. Um, I know one year was at my parents with Observus, and we did it by hand, and oh boy, was that a challenge. And then, I think it was last year, we did it at Observus's place, and we used power tools. So this year, I thought, why not do something different again? And because of how the state of our world is right now, I am tilted. Because of the state of the world right now, um, what better way but to paint a pumpkin by myself? Uh, obviously, you guys can show me your pumpkins from this year. You can carve, you can paint, you can put little glue things onto it. Ooh, that might be a good one. Using trash and gluing it onto the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, show me your guys' pumpkins this year, because I'm really interested. Like, I love seeing this. I love seeing how creative you guys can be. Um, and then look towards the end of the video. Um, I recently just decorated our balcony. As, as I'm recording this, it is Halloween, October 31st. So... Um, I just got my decorations out today. <laughs> Bad! Um, my, my hand is oh, actually here. One sec. <laughs> Bad Akuni! But anyway, uh, towards the end of the video, we will look at my decorations on my balcony and we will place these pumpkins. I have five pumpkins, um, technically six, but. Uh, you'll see later that the sixth one is a, a, a wee bit too big. Um, yeah, but I have five, which they're technically baking pumpkins because they're small. So they're all about this size. So, you know, here's my hand. It can, you know, it's, it's, it's small. So uh, we have five to paint. And I don't have a lot of paint. So, we will see what we can do with it. All right, let's get started. Um, I'm basically going to do this as a time lapse. Uh, because we have five pumpkins, we gotta get through. So, yeah, enjoy.
And so I finished, sorry for the wind, I finished painting all my pumpkins. So this is my pony costume today. You know, just casual baby clothes. But let's go take a look at how my pumpkins turned out. I actually didn't finish one. That's because I have to have the paint dry. I wanted to do this while there's still light out. So the first pumpkin we get to look at is the typical jack-o'-lantern. Uh, it took about two to three coats of yellow, which I may have done that off camera because my phone, I'm recording on my phone. My phone was doing the thing where it was deleting things after I was finished with them and then not giving me the memory back for it so we fixed it but next we have a good old jack skellington along with pinstripe suit he has a very big head but that's okay he is kind of full of himself and then we got uh, a pumpkin dedicated to my boyfriend deck we have Solaire's Sun Symbol, which I kind of finished the eyebrow once the camera stopped recording. And then we did a Solaire! So, I'm probably going to go in with Sharpie. Uh, either later tonight or tomorrow. And then we have this pumpkin. This little delight is a sunflower, which I'm gonna go through with a Sharpie once all of these paints are finished. But, and then this final one, it just has red po polka dots on it, but I'm planning on using a Sharpie to draw roses on it. So each spot is gonna be a rose. Before I forget, this is the big chonker, like for scale. This is my hand, for scale, <laughs> he's a big one, but I got that at my local corn maze apple picking area. Um, we went apple picking with my family a couple of weeks ago, so it's surprisingly held firm. And then we got all the spider webs. Which is really nice. And then I also have a little leaf garland up along the gutters. And then we also have the hay bale, some spooky fabric. And we got an assortment of gourds. Ooh, and one more thing. Corn! We cannot forget the harvest corn. Huh? Yeah. So that is it for all of 
the decorations for this. Um, truthfully, it, it peaked like 57 degrees today and we couldn't have asked for a more beautiful Halloween. So, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, the remainder of Frytober is going to come in the coming weeks with Fran Bo. Uh, please keep your eyes out for it. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful time zone. Until next time, my lovelies. Mwah!